Oh, 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 folks, welcome back to Rincia. I had to stop there because it had a storm. And it's been a while since I recorded. Quite a few days. Not sure how long. It's now the 18th, the 8th, 2019. Um, I, I, this random weight's been hurting me since last night. Probably the fiber. Also, starting on this screen because you. If uh, there's the Twitter icon and everything up here, and I'm paranoid like I don't have information. Oh, actually, uh, right. Do I have to go back? I just have to suck it in and hope no one takes issue. I think I need base. Uh, I think I need to have this on max. I'm not sure. I I need to to juggle stuff around, and I think that's the answer, but I'm not hundred percent sure. Get used to this again. Also, um, uh, since I last recorded, there's been talk of. Know the whole better art promised it on the early access thing, and it's they're like they've. Well, they've already been um, showing off the new tile set for it. Definitely, when it comes out, I'll definitely pop back to this game and show it to you. Even if, if it's just for a little. Okay, I'll deal with some of the enemies. I guess I could go deal with this space now. The sooner that stand, the better. Then I won't let Silo to be a pain. Thing. 
cursor here for a moment. that out better. That's fine. I'll do. Okay, having this on max really does help negate the um, constant missile barrages. care for leftover towers. You know, they can keep existing, I don't care. Um, but what I do have to deal with is any of the other buildings. And obviously these boxes. Right now it does feel like I have this one. You know, I'm going about this right. But I know I felt that way previously. Kinda nice if there's something like debris left over from breaking stuff. Or you know, just destruction effect. nice if on the mini-map the uh, mine sites were a bit easier to see. It's gonna blend in with the border rocks. Also this regen is really nice. It, it does serve quite, it does work quite well. That's down, I'll have a much easier time breaking into here. Um, get rid of these tree production buildings. A bit easier life. Yeah, the regen, having it on max, makes this a lot easier takes away the main danger of the uh, level, which is the, well, 
wouldn't do our changes of the anim of the level, which is missile launches. Clean out down here. Could probably put up a wall of turrets and start mining down here. Goddamn blueprints. I was hoping I could put them down and rush the boat before the boat would get there so the enemies wouldn't be able to do anything. But that's not how this game works. That system does actually quite annoy me that the enemy can target the blueprints. They, they haven't even started construction yet, and the enemy's already able to start taking it out. damaged already, but it'll patch itself up. At least now I finally have a fucking mine. Oh, that was overkill. Ow. Alright, I think next I'll be attacking up here. Uh, down here is a bit well defended. But up here, up here I can chip away at. Ha <laughs> ha. 
You know one thing I, I just remembered that games occasionally have, and I'm glad this game doesn't have. It wouldn't make sense for it to have it, but rarely does it ever make sense in games when they have it. Contact damage. You bump off the enemy, you take damage. The enemy doesn't doesn't even necessarily need to be like made of fire. It's just here's a enemy grill. You touched it. You are now on half health. So obnoxious. Remember, Jack and Dax already had that. Not quite that potent, but it was still an obnoxious thing. Hmm. Alright, now just these two left there. Then I guess I could hit here. This is it, the final mission of the war. Should we succeed here, this will be the first non lethal war with a clear victor. So what I'm trying to say is, don't screw this up. Attacking here will be difficult. Probably want to go from the south side, grenade down these. Skill and grace than I thought. down. Damn it. Regardless. This building's new gone, so is this, and these, this is on half health. It's looking fantastic. Come on! Fine. If I go and take out here, I can put up some defenses, and I can take this as a base. Actually, before I can do that, I can take out here, at the least. The enemies are all tied up on fighting these three turrets. No point in um, I 
basically I might be able to get turrets, some turrets over here cheaper um, to get some money back and so on and so forth. Good, hole's good. Do need to put down a uh, tunnel there, but can't do that just yet. Should be able to hold the line for at least a bit. Did that uh, worker turn around mid tent? Oh, okay. Didn't think they could do that. Thought they'd be very, you know, fixated uh, finishing this task before starting another tent. Noticing for whatever reason, my turrets don't try and take out enemy walls. Hmm. I'm gonna try and toss down more guys here as I can. Base is after healing up. Seems, they, ah, seems they've gotten some base restoration too. One barracks down there remains, and then there is cleaned down there is cleaned out of any you know operational building uh, production buildings. Then there is the silo and barracks there, two silos and two barracks is up there. Then it's just the final building.
suppose I could try and, you know, get some silos. I think I'll be very tempted in trying to clear here out so I can get some guys. I'm just not sure what avenue the enemy would even come at me from. Because right now they don't really seem to have a path through there. You know? I figured they'll diverge from their path, but I'm not sure would they go from top or south. Hell, they could even come from the west. So, like from over here. Mm. The price of tunnels really goes up. Have the walls always been that color on the map? They're my walls. I, I swear they have been. Or is that the, uh, you know, wall upgrade in action? No, you know what? Let's hold off. Alright. We'll go clean out here. Okay, the enemy will come from this angle at the very least. Bye. Oh, damn you. Lost an unspeakable amount of money because that's one thing I would have changed. Make it so the enemies can't target the blueprints on the map. It's actually really obnoxious. Because like you have to go back to base to put out blueprints. But if any you know if there's a constant patrol going through, you it makes it very difficult to actually try to expand to it. Um Or, you know, then, you know, whatever. It makes it quite difficult to actually try and uh, take areas when the enemies can, you know, somehow take them out before the first brick is laid, you know? No. 
Seriously! A horror just fucking... Okay, yeah, no, I can't expand to that point. There's too many enemies nearby that are quite eager to just rush it. But yeah, um... I'll rephrase what I was trying to say. Basically, ultimately, it just, it's just frustrating that enemies can target buildings before they're even built. Um, one thing I would like is if that wasn't the case. That enemies had to actually wait for the first brick to be laid before they could start putting bullets in a building. I'm not a fan of fighting enemies with the ability to tear down buildings before they even exist. Time bullets are the most fun of things. I'm not quite happy with how I phrased that critique as I was trying to say it. It's not quite what I mean. Yeah, I have terrible issues with talking off the cuff for to even write the things down. I'm just gonna do it in the middle of it. Let's play. But it's, yeah, it's just basically it's quite quite rough to try and you know expand the points and whatnot when the enemies can just. Oh, I already took down that though. What the hell am I trying to do? Uh, it, it, it just, it's really rough when the enemies can basically kill a building before the first brick is laid. Be it in defense or if you're trying to be aggressive and expand. And it's, it's just generally obnoxious. Of course, that might be, uh, Tend the difficulty thing, in which case, you know, I'm sure I can live with it. But it's. You know, I'm just. I think my frustration about it, nonetheless. Since I can't seem to expand, I'm just gonna get more guys up to the field. Jackson. Okay, I've only taken eight damage thus far. Wow. Oh, that's been fixed. Should put you know the teleportation technology they have here to better use. Use it so sparingly, sparingly.
Beautiful. This matter got taken down. Now, the only place producing units is right here at the center. Only place left. Everywhere else's production ability has been negated. Oh, has been destroyed. Most of the silos have been taken down, so there's very few missiles left. You know what? I'll accept the additional attacks now. So I can muster my guys up and actually properly attack. Do the units heal? The enemies don't seem to, but yeah, and I presume yours don't either. See, fantastic position right now to actually deal with deal with the enemies. How the shotgun ignore and miss that? I suppose the answer to the enemy being able, you know, attacking your build, you know, buildings in placement isn't to try and place things down and rush a hero over like I've been trying, it's to actually move your army over. Issue is, on maps like this, it's drawing even more enemies to the build side, which seems a little dodgy way of defending a place. I guess it's a, you know, pros and cons sort of deal.
think I'm just gonna have to keep doing that. At least these do come out in somewhat, you know, like a group. It's almost as if I grouped them up again. Going there is uh, it's a bit of major godsend. Okay, wait back here for a moment for recharges. If I had some silos, I could deal with them that way, but I don't, so I can't. are weaker than uh, mine. As I, as I expected, but it's good to know for sure, you know. have this last building to take out. It won't be hard, as long as they don't goof up. We did it, everyone! For the first time in all of history, a non-lethal war has been won, and it was won by us. Though I'm not sure what exactly Command will even do with the Memoria Dessert. It's true we won, but can't help but feel we are leaving things unfinished. We didn't stop the WMD threat, we really dodged it. Yeah, those things are a tough pickle. I've heard reports those things are crossing into Oshana territory, and even huge bodies of water stopped those things. In any case, that's a problem for another day. I say we celebrate now. Ah, maybe we can even make some industrious friends if we invite them to party with us. Uh, I can teach him how not to bully bandits. And that was the totality of Rincia, or, um, of Rincia thus far. Quite a fun little game. It's, it is quite cute. I could, if I wanted to, just to see how ridiculous things could get. You know, grind, uh, grind the missions for a bit. Any mission here. When you complete them once, you get three supplies. But when you do them uh, again, you'll actually get an additional one each time you win. So, you could grind it up, if you spent long enough at it, to get all of these. Not something I would ever do, but it would be interesting to see it. But yes, anyway, I said, um, this is the totality of what's available over in CS so far. I will be coming back to revisit visit it as other things are added, say the Codex, I will have a, certainly have a reach of that, um, as the new art tiles are coming in. I'll do, you know, show off a level or two under the new art system, under new art, uh, on, with the new art. Um, there's also a comment, remember the one where they're running from the um, WMDs? Mast was saying on one of my videos that he was thinking of rejigging that map by giving you a choice of a 
longer of safer paths and or a shorter but more dangerous one and that kind of thing just you know uh, redesigning that level I would, you know if that happened I'd certainly be interested in rerunning that level to show to show the change off and of course at some stage I would do a when the game is fully released I would do a playthrough you know straight through um, so yeah basically what I'm saying is I'm done with written CF for the moment there is new changes co uh, you know coming the like if you're not following in the discord which I highly advise you do let me just step into a map for the music um, the uh, mass has been looking at the new art for the game um, sorry I keep losing my train of thought it's actually quite frustrating my mind just blanks but yes um, I'm done with it for now, and I'll be coming back at some stage to do more. There are changes coming and additions, and the artwork, for example, is something currently talked about on the Discord, which, if you're interested in this, you should be uh, keeping track of. They do talk a little bit about, you know, stuff on art, you know? Uh, and I heard background noise, so now my brain's got this. But yeah, um, they're, they're talking about new artwork for the game. Uh, some tile sets that was on the Unity store. They're, they're talking about using that for this. And um, when that comes in, I would certainly be interested in you know playing a level or two just to show it off. And you know, as different changes come in, I would have, wouldn't have an issue with you know just looking at them, seeing what they're like, you know? But, and then, of course, you know, when it's fully released, I'll do a full playthrough of it. So, you like, you get to see the game in stages, and then the whole thing, in you know, at the end, everyone, like, everyone comes together. It's really hard to make a point here when there's cats flinging themselves around the house. I'm seriously, huh? They're loud fucking things. I'm surprised. I doubt my mic's picking them up, but I'm surprised that it's not. One of our cats is nearly as heavy as the Westie. She's a ton of bricks. I've joked before if someone breaks in, just, you know, they're coming up the stairs, just, you know, drop her on them. You know, just cleave them right in twain. Actually, it was funny. Do you remember the storm I had to stop for? She bullied her way onto the windowsill, like she was just like pushing her way through the blinds. She looked frantic, almost, to get onto the windowsill with the second best view of the storm. The best view was in a, my mom's room, like next to that window. But uh, she was then forced her way onto the, land, uh, the landing window with the, like the second best view, and she always goes there to watch. Like it, when whenever there's a storm or fireworks or whatever, she always gets onto that windowsill. Even if it's not necessarily best view, she always goes there for some reason. I have no idea why. Everyone else was going ballistic, and like the dogs were freaking out. I don't know what Annabelle or Nero were doing. Nero probably ended up hiding, but she was she was forcing herself onto that windowsill. I like to think it was you know her way of trying to protect us or something. You know, big mama's ends. She tries to mother everyone really, uh, well not the dogs so much, but she mothers Annabelle and Nero. Uh, even though they're both adult cats, and Annabelle is like eight, maybe more, uh, anywhere, somewhere between eight and ten, she still washes her and minds her like a kid. Um, with um, a Nero, he's like three, maybe, still minds him, and then she, uh, like, for a while, while we're joking, uh, that I was her kid. Um, one of her kittens. We, she had kittens. We gave most of them away. Two perished early on. They were, weren't strong enough, and you know, nature and all that. And we kept one, little Caesar. Funny story about how I picked that name for him. Uh, he, when he was out the back, he used to love digging up the flower pots to go in them. 
I don't remember uh, uh, Caesar salads, you know, that meal. Yeah, one thing led to another. It's like, yes, let's call him Caesar. I was young at the time. But yeah, that was my train of thought. Like staking up plants, salads, Caesar. There we go. But uh, yeah, he passed. She saw it. She was devastated by it. Afterwards, she took an extra interest in me. She was always like waiting up outside my room to, you know, to be all friendly with me. Sadly, my OCD. I was like, ah, the <laughs> cat, you know, tr throw kibble one way and then dash past. Um, just like cats, they go through the tray and they don't wash their paws with soap and water. Yeah, but um, yeah, she's a, she is a lovely cat, even if she's an utter devil. Like I swear, she does some things just to fuck with me. She, like she's that kind of cat. Like um, me, and mom were gone for a time, and my aunt was house sitting, and you know, minding the animals and all that. I I then ended up soiling somewhere out of temper. I think she was annoyed that we weren't here. That's how how we how we took it anyway. Just between her behavior and everything, that's just how it came off to us. But um, yeah, anyway, uh, yeah. Basically, all I was getting out with the other thing was um, I'm done with Rincia for the moment. I will be back to it at some stage to record more. Um, uh, you know, as additions come in, I'll like I'll take a look at the codex. So take a look at, at maybe one or two levels with the art upgrade. You know, say if they do introduce a boss unit. Yeah, I'll go take a look at that. You know, I'll be interested in this. Then when it's fully released, I'll do and obviously I'll play through the in second campaign uh, when that's introduced. And then in when it's you know fully released, I'll do another playthrough of it. But, you know, from the beginning again. Um, you know, play through the tutorials. Maybe play through the tutorials. That's up in the air. But certainly play through from, you know, mission one of the first campaign to mission, the last mission, the second campaign. Um, you know, and, you know, show everyone after coming together. So, I sincerely hope you've enjoyed this. And I sincerely hope you join me again soon. Uh, if there's anything you want to tell me, please let me know in the comment section below. For once in my videos, there isn't a gigantic backlog. So, if you tell me something, I will actually know it somewhat relevantly. You know, like, this will be coming out within, like, a, a couple days of its recording. So, I, I have three episodes, just two episodes gone up today, but the third one going up soon enough. And then it'll be this set. Which might actually just be an episode. So, like, fun fact, I had footage from 2016 coming out at the start of this year. 2016. And wasn't that, oh, here's an old episode I missed. No, no. I had an ongoing play, like, I had so, like, I had episodes coming out each day. And I just had so much footage, you know. I just such a backlog. Like, I, I can't remember even what I was playing through at the time. But, um, I, I just had a gigantic backlog that it stretched from, like, 2016 to next year. And even took a break of a year in recording. So, yeah, it's insane. Um, so yeah, fun fact. But anyway, I sincerely hope you've enjoyed this. And I do hope you join me again soon. As I was saying, feel free, you know, if you want to tell me something, go ahead. For once, I don't have a gigantic, insane backlog. For once. So, you know, go right on ahead. I can't remember where I was going with this. My mind just keeps blanking. It's quite frustrating. But I'll see you again next time. Till then. Love and peace, baby.